Hey, what's up guys? This is Dave from Crux Motorsports. We'll be showing you today how to install our pre-cut headlight film on this 2021 Jeep Grand Cherokee L. This film is a air release film, so you're gonna be doing this completely dry. You've already cleaned the headlight and the big holes clean as well, so you wanna make sure that you do both those steps or at least clean around that area. Make sure you get in these cracks because you could pick up some uh, debris on that as well. So, <clears throat> This is the light smoke film. Um, that is probably what I would recommend to you as far as film on these vehicles. You could do the dark smoke film, but you are gonna have a greater reduction in the headlight output. So just keep that in mind as well. So nighttime driving might be a little compromised with the dark smoke film. Um, so we're, we're gonna go ahead and get started, but we're gonna go and start in the lower corner here. The one thing on this headlight that you have to contend with is this raised portion right here. So we're gonna start to apply the bottom of the film, work up, and then sort of roll this around the top. Uh, the only other thing that you will need for this is a heat source. You could either use a heat gun or a hair dryer. Um, you don't really need to heat the film a whole lot, just something to make it a little bit more pliable. As far as Outside air temperature, you probably want to do this in at least a 60 degree, 60 degree climate. So let's go ahead and get started uh, getting this applied. So like I said, this film is an air release film, so you're going to apply it completely dry. It does make it a little bit difficult to get it aligned. But once you get it aligned correctly, you're good to go. So what I did is align this to the lower corner down here. And I'm just gonna make sure it's aligned across the bottom. Sort of keeping tension on the film, keeping it where it needs to be. So actually on this, I am a little high on this side, so I'm gonna pull this back and realign it. You're gonna want a little bit of overhang, maybe around like an eighth of an inch past where the headlamp actually stops to like get down in this little crease. Again, I'm keeping tension with my right hand. So that way the film lays in the right direction. That looks a lot better. All right, so now that this bottom leading edge is down, you can just go ahead and start working the film up. You can either use your fingertips or we do have squeegees available on the site. Um, if you don't have a squeegee, you could use a Bondo card wrapped in a, like a microfiber so you don't scratch the film. I'm gonna be using this squeegee, it's wrapped with leather. So if you get like a squiggle like this, you can't push this down. If you do, you're gonna crease it. So just slowly pull the material back up and then work the film up towards the top of the vehicle. So you notice I pulled up the right portion. Um, once we work this up, we'll work the film that direction. So the headlamp, curves this way and this way so it's hard to sort of get it all seated at once so you sort of got to work it in sections so we're working towards this ridge 
and you do want to make sure that you're getting the film seated in that lower crease before working it up. Because if you don't, you're gonna end up with like a bubble in there, which you can dissipate some of the bubbles on this material, but I don't recommend it. Try to get it as flat as possible to begin with, so that way you're not left with something that you're trying to work out. It is a little hard on the crease because it does want to catch on this upper ridge before you actually get it pushed into the crease. So just keep that in mind as well. So now once we're in that crease area, I'm gonna add a little bit of heat in this section and sort of push this that way. Um, as far as the settings on the heat gun, I get asked this a lot. This heat gun is probably seven years old. <laughs> so I don't really think the digital displays are accurate. I'll go somewhere around like 390, but I mean, that's not 390 degrees. So I would start on a low setting if your heat gun just has a high low setting. Um, if you don't notice the pliability factor coming into the film at that point, I definitely increase that to the high setting. You never really want to keep the heat gun on one section of the film for too long because you will actually melt the material. This is essentially plastic, so just keep that in mind as well. So what we're going to do is just go back and forth a little bit on the material to get it a little bit pliable and then just start to lay it down. I do like using just a fingertip method over a squeegee because with your fingertip you could feel, like right there there's a little crease that was going to form, you could feel that resistance in the material so it makes it easier in my opinion to apply it. Um, whereas if you're using a squeegee you're not necessarily going to notice that that material is bunching up and by the time you do, it might be too late to save the film. So I, I do use both the fingertip method and the squeegee. Just whatever you're more comfortable with. So uh, that's relatively flat. We're gonna go ahead and move on to this upper portion. Yeah, see little bubbles there. So the film actually has like a air release channels in the adhesive. So if you did have like a bubble, say you had a bubble trap here, if you don't heat it, just press it down into your fingertips, you'd actually work that air out into the extra void space that's in that lamp so that allows you to i guess get rid of those bubbles if in fact you do have one trap that's also what allows us to apply this without getting all the little bubbles all over the film so on this what we're going to do is heat this and just basically work this material up in a slow fashion i'm not going to work one section at a time we'll probably go up a little bit at a time and then once it gets more flat, because you probably can't see this in the video, but this section here is laying pretty flat. This section is pretty pushed out. So if I do try to work all of this material up at the same time, what we're gonna end up coming up with is uh, creases in these areas, because essentially this material, there's too much material trying to be pushed this way, so it's gonna crease up. So when we work it up slowly or gradually, what you're doing is stretching the material up and working those creases out. So I'm definitely going to start in this section here 
because this is pretty straightforward flat over here. Like I said, you just want to heat the material gradually. You don't need a whole haul, heck of a lot of heat. So as you can hopefully see in the video, these little tiny creases, if we would have taken the squeegee and pushed all this up at the same time, chances are you would have creased something in that section. So what I'm gonna do is go back over this with heat again and then work uh, those little tiny creases up. And basically, like I said, what you're doing is basically stretching that material in order to get it to lay down flat. I'm not using the whole squeegee here, I'm just using the leading corner of it to push those creases up. So now we're going over to this section. Like I said, this was relatively flat to begin with. Again, I'm not using the whole squeegee. Just that leading corner. All right, so now that the, I guess, main portion of the lamp is done, we're gonna wanna go ahead around these creases and push in the extra material that's hanging over on the sides. On this, you can heat it up and gradually work it in. Uh, the corners do tend to bunch up a little bit more than the flat sections, so just keep that in mind. But So just heating that up. I like to start at the corners and then work around. These flat sections you could use a big part of the squeegee, not an issue. I'm gonna try to sneak past the camera here. All right, and so this is the light smoke film. Again, we do have this available in a dark smoke as well. This is available on our website. There'll be a link in the video description below. 
and make sure to check out our YouTube channel for other installation uh, videos on the same vehicle and then head on over to our website for the full product line. If you have any questions, you could feel free to reach out. Our phone number is on the website or you can send us an email that's also listed there as well. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and learned a couple tips.